Greetings, citizens of Earth. You are about to experience what may at first appear to be definitive proof of one of a myriad of parallel dimensions beyond your own. Believe me, the truth is so much more of a boner killer. It's just denizens of your own race engaging in semi-coherent shadow play for their own amusement. So sit back, put away all curiosity in the multiverse, and enjoy this week's episode of Live from the Three Broomsticks, or whatever it's called. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp. If you've never listened to the podcast before, this is what's going on. About two years and a month, two months ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago into the magical, fantastical land of Foon, which is awesome, except that the dark lord of this world attacked the town that I'm in, enslaved us, took me and my co-host captive, and are forcing us to continue to do this podcast that we record in the tavern, the Vermilion Minotaur, in the town of Hog's Face, in the land of Foon. And I'm joined, as always, by my buddy, Chunt the Badger. Did you know that obsidian is an igneous rock? I didn't. It's uh, created when lava uh, quickly cools. Hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Really? Without, without crystallization. Also, there's mica, which is like a sheet mineral, and you can kind of peel back the layers. Huh. I went to high school with a kid named Micah. That's why we're best friends. That's why we're best friends. Gianessa smuggled me in a rock book. Oh, wow. Why? So I've been learning all about You've rocks. You've been learning all about rocks. Mm-hmm. And it's that knowledge of rocks that's going to help us somehow break out of the prison town of Hog's Face. Oh, I just want us to break out of the uh, routine of saying of courts. Of course. You've been saying that for a week nonstop. You know how you like grow up thinking an expression is one way and it's not the other? I always thought it was of quartz. Apparently it's of course. Mm. I always thought it was straight and arrow. And then I learned the other day it's straight and narrow. Wow. I guess it all means the same. Captivating. Chunt, let's kill ourselves. uh, Ah. I always thought it was six of one, half a grozen of a brother. Half a grozen of a brother. That makes sense. It does. Do you know Gruzin, the half man? Oh, I don't. Yeah, he's got nothing from the waist down. He walks around on his arms. Oh, oh I've my. seen that guy. I know him. Half a Gruzin? I half a Gruzin. Oh. And he has that brother. Yeah. yeah. Turns out that's not the saying, though. Just Arnie, a coincidence. Usador, let's kill ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look, I know it's weird to be held captive, but we've got to stay positive. We've got the podcast. We can find little ways to fight back and eventually escape Hog's face and defeat the Dark Lord. Yeah, we'll kill him by a thousand paper cuts. Yeah. Metaphorically speaking. Why would I choose to kill myself when I'm already dying slowly from the inside? Oh, Usador. Well, I, I, I'm sorry, podcast listeners. I haven't introduced my other co-host, Usador the Wizard. You've been, they've been forcing you to take a... <sighs> His eyes are still open. He's. I'm he, awake. Uh, wait, oh. No, I'm awake. John, I hate John, that. John, can I talk to you privately for a second? Yes, go have a private talk. <laughs> Do we have to talk over this sound? I think we might. <laughs> That's kind of what I want to talk about. John, you know I love you, Sidor. I think he's oh. the third most important part of this podcast. No yeah. question. I just Sorry, I was just a little thrown when you added the Sidor. Oh, also, I love you, buddy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I love you, you, you are. Uh, you are like the second most important part of this podcast, and Aww. also my best friend in this world. You're my best friend. Yeah, in all worlds. In all worlds. Yeah, I don't know any other worlds. Oh yeah. What do you want to talk about? Oh, do you forget? No, I'm just thinking about all my friends back home. Name some of them. Well, I knew this guy Adol in Why? my world, who was a good friend of mine. I would say he was Adol? like. That yeah. sounds like a fake name. Well, his real it's name like is a doll. It's, it's actually It sounds a doll. like you're making up names on the spot, like Micah. When I said, there's a rock called Micah, and you go, I knew a Micah. Yeah. Adol? Are you just thinking of the word adult, but without a T on the end? No, I was not thinking he's an adult. <laughs> Far from it. Who else? Uh, I knew this guy named Matt. Two. Um, I knew this guy named Chris. Three. Um, you know what? I don't have enough female Three friends. Three friends. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ? Is that a friend? Jesus Christ. Four. Uh, uh, yeah, he's a friend of mine. But, Chunt, I wanted to talk to you about. Usador's great, but maybe we should consider cutting him out of the podcast. In his current state, especially if he just keeps falling asleep and snoring. Uh, he's not falling asleep. He's just snoring with his eyes he's open. He's just snoring with his eyes open. It's well, worse. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, 
getting nuts is going really well, and I don't want to, you know, make any waves with him in terms mm-hmm. of I don't want to ruin that relationship. Sure, because that's how I make a living. Do you think maybe his main focus is getting nuts, and he'd be fine with not doing Hello from the Magic Tavern? Possibly, but that's not a conversation I want to have with him. Mm-hmm. But also, if it's just Arnie and Chunt, like. I mean, sounds great. It's a lot of jokes, but it's not a lot of heart and but depth to it. Don't you? I'm completely awake right now. Oh, oh you're completely oh. awake. Usador. Hey, bud. Oh, boy, he is staring me down. He has never seemed so awake in his life. Usador. How you doing, bud? This is the time that I tell you what I really think because I'm asleep and I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, no, he's sleep talking. You can't stop a sleep talker from talking. Oh, oh, whew. hey, was hey, I asleep? Yeah, you were. You were just asleep. You were just talking a little bit, but it was all nonsense. Oh, good. I'm so weak. I must. Oh, look, a nut. I found a nut on the table. He's always getting nuts. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna. Great chew, job, buddy. I'm gonna chew on this for a little bit of sustenance. Well, John, I just think I hate that every time he eats now, he just whispers sustenance. <laughs> I feel like I'm that so is weak. the most annoying so thing weak. someone can do. It's true. So it's like weak. he's got so little energy, and yet what little energy he has, he expends some of it on talking about how little energy yeah. he has. Or sometimes he'll make the noise that, that oh, should be made with his mouth. Delicious So, like, he'll eat soup and go, slurp, and then oh, I just yeah. hate that. Yeah. Or he'll even say, swallow. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Well, you know what? I walked by his cell the other day. I think he was going to the bathroom. I just heard him whispering, evacuation. Oh, no. Getting the waste products out of my body. That was delicious. Ugh. So you want you sir off the podcast? Well, look, Chunt, let's just Wait, keep what? it. Nothing, nothing, bud. You want me off the podcast? Look, you sir, I don't want you off the podcast. But just in your current state, you're just snoring a lot during the podcast. Fine, enjoy the rest of the show without me. No, you, you sir, no. I mean, oh, to be fair, he only did it like three times in two episodes. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Three strikes and you're out. I feel like we're going to regret this. Look, last time when he was dead, nobody missed him. We didn't get any emails about that. You know what? I had a curse where I was going to die. Usador did die. I feel like it's time for you to take a break. I'm ready. I am ready. You know, I'm, I could go up to my room and just take a take a nap. Okay. Would you mind running the podcast without me? I'd love to. Okay. Uh, all right. See you later. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, boy. Cool. It worked. That's Usador. That's Chunt. And we're getting getting nuts nuts. at the Magic Tavern crossover episode. Finally. A crossover episode. Do you know how many new listeners we can potentially rake in? For Magic Tavern? Yes. Getting nuts has billions of listeners. I know, but we're going to cross-pollinate. Wonderful. So I just found a peanut on the table and I ate it. Nice. I chewed the whole thing. I masticated it and I swallowed it and it was crunchy, crunchy, crunch. I heard you say all those things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I found a pine nut. Oh. I didn't eat it, though. I flicked it away. I don't know that that's technically a nut. Really? Hmm. Hmm. This has been getting nuts. Getting nuts. Nuts up with that. Wait, ooh. It, that's, that's a new a nice thing. Oh, yeah, I like that. Nuts yes. up with that. So I take my phrase, chunts up with that, yes. add a nut to it, and now it's nuts up with that. We should bring out our magic taffron guest. Oh, uh, where's the earth man? Oh. Uh, hello, Baron. He's probably having a snack. Uh, we, we need the Earth Man here. Oh. Oh, wait, is this a getting nuts or is this a hello from the It's actually the a bit of a crossover era. episode, if we're being honest. It's a bit of a crossover. Well, if we could get the Earth Man here, that would be great. Yeah. That's Usador. That's Chunt. And we're getting the Earth Man. I'll go get him. So, what does a Baron do? Uh, well, I mean, uh, lots of things. I, uh, I rule over, uh, my barony, the Shrike Valley, but, you know, that's just one of my many duties. hmm Does anybody ever accidentally call you Karen? Uh, you know Just because the sounds are so similar? Uh, I don't, you know, that's hard for me to say because, uh, my deceased wife was named Karen, so I guess maybe sometimes somebody oh, may yeah. have yelled, Oops, sorry Karen, yeah. and I was like, oh, they're just talking to my wife. If you were to sing, would you be a baritone? I am a baritone. If there's an afterlife, what do you want to hear whatever entity is out there say to you when you arrive at the gates? Um, Well, I do know there's an afterlife because the Dark Lord has constructed one uh, especially for me. Is the Dark Lord here in the room? Can we talk to the Dark Lord? Well, I mean, I feel like the Dark Lord is always with us. What's your favorite curse word? 
Oh, um, that would be cunt knuckle. Whoa, what the fuck is going on in here? <laughs> See, it worked. I'm trying to conduct an interview. <laughs> yes. I was interviewing the Baron, and uh, I was doing amazing. Uh, yeah. Arnie and I tricked you. See, now you know it's not so easy. Yeah. I felt like that was super easy and informative. I feel like we got to know the Baron better than oh. ever before. I was gone for one minute, and I come back, and someone's saying, see, Knuckle? Oh, no, cunt Knuckle. Oh, cunt Knuckle. Sorry, I thought you said see, Knuckle. Of course, of course. Uh, hello, I was just dropping by, making sure that uh, everything was going all right with the podcast. Yeah, I know, Baron. I'm sorry. I'm forced to do the podcast, so I'm sorry I tried to get away from doing it for a little bit. I can get back into hosting. I can interview you, Baron. Oh, I mean, are, do you not have a guest today? No, I mean, I haven't put a lot of effort into getting guests anymore. You, you know who you should interview is a werewolf? I feel like they're very hard to read. I, I'd love to know what's going on there. I feel like it's not so hard to read a werewolf because a lot of times, like when I used to go down to the village, I'd put my head down and then I'd wake up and someone would be dead. And I'd be like, I feel like that person's been real quiet or like I heard them moving in the middle of the night. And I'd be like, that person's a werewolf. So you can spot one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So wait, are you saying it's hard to read a werewolf like know who a werewolf is or read a werewolf like, God, what is this werewolf thinking? Well, the second one, like it's hard to know who a werewolf is is you know mm -hmm. well it's also I feel like, like you see a werewolf and you're just like i think he's thinking about ripping people apart and killing people but that's i'm sure that's offensive but is that for one no, night or is be. that you know is it an ultimate world that's just while the moon's out think about the rest of the 30 days of his life what is he thinking then or she yeah. or it yeah that's true but aren't you less interested in that part this is like what is that person thinking what if the werewolf is a fish no oh. oh boy what if it's a fish and then one night a month it turns into a wolf did you even think about that? I did not. You didn't think about fish wolves? No. Oh, what do you do with your time? Now it's like, try not to think about fish wolves. You can't. It's all I'm thinking about now. Baron, be our guest? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, be I guess. Be our guest? I guess I can... Sit Put our I'm, interview skills to the test? I'm really supposed to be checking in on everything in the town, but yes, I can set aside an hour... Or however long this takes. Well, we try to keep it to 30 minutes, but you know yeah. what? With the sponsors and all this stuff, it starts to get close. Uh, actually, though, uh, I, I do have some people shadowing me today. Um, Daddy, 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 Daddy. Daddy. Oh. Hi. Daddy. We were hiding behind oh. his legs. Oh, that's so creepy. They're so creepy. They're like, a little creepy. Pull up some chairs, children. Hey, Daddy, hold my hand. Daddy, hold. Oh, let me hold oh, your hand. Oh, Daddy. I was holding syrup in my hand. Now your hands are all sticky. <laughs> oh, no. My hand is all sticky. I oh. was I was holding margarine in my hand, Daddy. <laughs> Your hands are covered. You're going to have to go wash them. Have I've got wash. breakfast hands again. All right. <laughs> old uh, barren breakfast hands. Old barren breakfast hands. All right, everyone, sit down. Uh, may talk, I? talk to these people. I'm going to go. <laughs> may I lick your hands? Uh, please don't let him do it. Ugh. He asks me that all the time, too. It's a weird... Head. Oh, cleanliness. Oh, Ah, oh. no! At least he didn't say what he was doing. <laughs> These are my uh, my children. Twins, we're twins. Wow, we are twins. Yes. Uh, this is my daughter Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hello. And I'm Sammy. Oh, my son Sammy. <laughs> Sammy. Wow. One of you was named first, and the other one was an afterthought. Yes, it goes boy girl, boy girl, boy girl, and our family. So, wow. Our brother was born first, and then. We and then we came out later, but I, I came in, I came out after. It took a long time to come out. I liked it in there. Mm -hmm. I wanted to stay. You two talk like everything's a secret, yeah. and you're also very <laughs> skeletal. <Yeah. laughs> we, yeah, we have many secrets between the two. Of, between the two of us, we often speak the same language, and it's not humanish. Wait. Usador. Chunt, do you recognize the language that they're talking? Is it like some other common language in film? Sounds kind of like Jawa. Jawa? <laughs> yeah. When you, when you speak mostly by moving your jaw oh. at angles, it, it's jaw angular is the full name, but you can call it Jawa. Oh. It sounds like some horse shit I'd make up. <laughs> oh, Sammy, Sammy, you have a berry behind your ear. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> oh, I kept it there in case you needed a berry to eat. <laughs> Thank you. I'm always, I'm always eating food off of Sammy. Does Sammy have like just a lot of food on him? Yes. I don't know where Later he squirrels night. it away. Late at night, I make a little banquet on my chest, oh. and I eat it off. Oh. Daddy doesn't like it though. 
uh, it's very unclean. And yeah. also, we do try to, uh, you know, put together healthy meals for the kids. Plates they... are so cold. Daddy, Daddy, Mummy always let us do whatever we want at night. I, I know your mother let you do whatever you wanted. She did. Oh, what she was, did. I, you know, I, I'm did. sorry, I, I never heard. What was your wife's name? I just said a moment ago. It's Karen. It's oh, Karen. I got that out of him in a 30 second interview. And he's been on, what, <laughs> six times, five times? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know. So, Karen, it's so funny. Did you and your wife, did people ever get you guys confused because your name is Baron and her name is Karen? I already covered this. We covered this as well? Yes. Ha. Could work. (laughs) Now, Jamie and Sammy, Mm -hmm. uh, I can't help but notice that you seem to be looking for food all over Sammy. Yes. Did you find anything else yet? Not yet, but he's got many secret places that only I know about. You must not be very ticklish, Sammy. (laughs) Well, you can't tickle me because I have a congenital disease that makes it so my skin comes off really easily. Well, he's got more blood than most people, so... I produce too much blood. He's a very well-blooded boy. Too little skin. Slightly less skin than everybody. It's called... Bronies. Bronies. Hey, little man, little man, if you have that disease, should you be putting syrup on your hand? <laughs> no. I no. Don't, I don't do what the doctor tells me to do. We like to break rules. This guy's a little pantry, a little walk-in pantry. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, late at night, I sneak into Daddy's room while he's sleeping, <gasps> and, I, and I get real close to his ear, and I say, I'm going to put a baby in you. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's this now? Wait, wait, what? No, he does he does do that. I actually <laughs> have you ever have you ever woken up with a baby in you? No, but I did spend six months convinced the Dark Lord was about to put a baby in me. <laughs> we we sometimes sneak up to Daddy and say, oh, We have a message. We're important. We're important today, Daddy. We have a message from the Dark Lord. And then we tell him whatever we want and he has to believe it. It's true. I mean, they've really gotten me sometimes. You know, sometimes children are great portents, especially, like, the, the more childlike their voice, the better way to deliver oh, a message kids of doom. say the darndest portents. I've noticed that you are obviously both uh, of age, at least 18, but you speak with a very childish uh, demeanor. We might be what you might call, um, stunted, because we've, we've only lived in the castle all our lives. We Shelter. don't have a formal education. So, so you've always lived in the castle? Y- yes. yes. I was. They tried to send me to school, but I got kicked out. We keep getting kicked out of any programs that uh, Daddy signs us up for because because we tend to keep to ourselves. <laughs> They're just not meant for group environments. So you know, at a certain point, it's time to pull them out and burn down the school. Well, I'd say at a certain point, it's time for them to stop wearing matching overalls. No, no, we like that our, is so creepy. We wear overalls. matching overalls and hold hands wherever we go. Do you have any uh, friends other than one another? Squibbert. Ah, oh, so we love to, yeah. We love to pick up Squibbert and put her in a little bag yes. and swing the bag yes. around and she screams and screams. She screams and sometimes if we do it enough we'll make her tell us an episode of Get Nuts. Oh, oh you guys are fans of Get Nuts? She absorbs episodes and she can recite she them. Can recite them. Verbatim. Verbatim. You know, I, I've actually wondered about this. How many people do you think that are fans of Get Nuts are mostly really just fans of the ways that Squibbert retells it? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Squibbit also is a fan of many other podcasts. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. There's a podcast called Steinfeld. <laughs> Steinfeld. <laughs> yes, it's I about heard that one. It's, it's about all the different steins you can use. Mm-hmm. It's it, and I listen to one. It's, it's, it's like it's it's about nothing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it seems to be about Steins. <laughs> That's like a weird like framework they put it, but it's like really about nothing. I was listening to cereal for a while. <laughs> I think Adnan did it. Uh, does Squibber get cereal? She gets porridge. What's porridge? I don't know. If, I mean, I know what porridge is, but is that also the name of a show? Porridge is about a boy who definitely, for sure, murdered somebody at his school. And it's just sort of explaining that he did it for oh. sure. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. That sounds really good. Mm-hmm. I, I encourage them to listen to that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. He likes to keep us distracted because when we're listening to podcasts, we can't cause mischief and mayhem around the castle. 
Yeah, you know, I actually, yeah. I actually have a question for Chunt. So you think that at a certain age it would be weird for two people to wear matching overalls? Yeah, I just said that. Okay. I covered that already. Yeah, yeah, no, I just... just uh... Are you just anti-overall? E- well, I'm not anti-overall um, because, you know... It's a practical... God, Lord knows that she's done enough for this community. Do you not know anti-overall? <laughs> <laughs> no. Who's anti-overall? She's a woman. Uh, she's maybe 45, 46. She usually sits on her porch um, in overalls, and she uh-huh. feeds anybody who needs fed. Oh, that's so nice. There's also a little orphan auntie. Little orphan oh, aunt. Oh, yes. She's an aunt, but she's real tiny, and she's an orphan. Oh. At a certain age, she's got to give up that whole orphan thing, probably. Well, you don't grow out of being an orphan. <laughs> there are quite a few orphans and bastards in our land because the woodland creatures... Sometimes spirit, uh, children away, parents away, and sometimes daddy enlists young men and women for his army, for his forces of darkness, and, and, he, and he rips families apart when he does it. Sometimes literally. Sometimes literally. Now, you two say you cause a lot of mischief around mm-hmm. the castle. Uh, what kind of mischief do you mean? Oh, Late at night, yes. I sneak into Daddy's room mm. and I, I take a tiny pebble of poop what? and Wait, I what? put it in his pillow. And every night I put in another pebble and, and another. And pretty s- poop is white, so it doesn't show up. It doesn't pillow. show up. So he's <laughs> been sleeping on just a soft pillow of my poop. This, but it's hidden inside the pillow. I this feel like podcast has been so informative for yeah. <laughs> I, I must ask the two of you. Jamie, Sammy, you clearly are against the forces of darkness. Will you join my quest? Oh, yes, here's the key to clean. We, love, yes. Yes. We, we, we love to do good in little all right. ways. Okay, that all right. Bother Daddy. Quiet. Here's Sit the holy down. book that Sit we down. like to read. It's the holy book of the mother. Oh, God. The because holy book of every, the mother. Every family needs a mother and a father, and the Dark Lord is the father of Foon, but Oon, yep. mm. who makes the breakfast pancakes, she's the Holy Mother, and she is merciful and good, and Daddy doesn't like it. Well, uh, I, uh, yes, we've, you've stumbled on a little bit of family drama here. Ooh. Look, look inside the book, I've doodled little naked photos of Jamie. He's doodled naked photos. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I have to admit, uh, when I was off uh, building up Shrike, forging fell alliances, uh-huh. building up the army, I was not as present of a father as I maybe should have been back at Castle Ragoon, and they have picked up some odd interests. A part of them coming out here today is sort of to put an end to that. Uh, you know, we're touring the orc barracks. It's boring. It's boring. We want to stand Domination in dark can be boring. and just lurk. I, I just want to go home and just play hands with Sammy. What is hands? Oh, it's oh, just... That's a game they play. It's just a game we play. It's you, called, where are my hands? Where are my hands? Where are my hands? And you close your eyes. <laughs> and you guess where the hands are gone. <laughs> huh. huh. Who's your own? No. Oh. Well, sometimes... We I bet it's pro- easy to guess. We should probably take a break. Uh, at last count, the score was 1,000 to 1,000. <laughs> wow. It gets very cold in the castle sometimes. And, you know, we're so warm. We're so warm. We're so warm. So we like to get like cuddled to together. Uh, oh, no, a, a break. I think Are we break. sure that was syrup? A break. A break. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. Uh, let's take a break. Let's. Can we play hands on the break? Uh, <laughs> you and I? Yes, yes. Where are my hands? Where are my Daddy, hands? Daddy, where, where are my hands? hands? Okay, where we're, we're, we're going to take everybody. Keep everybody put your hands on the table. <laughs> we're going to take a quick break. Ooh, hey there, good looking. It's Chunt letting you know you can check out all of our bonus material, including my personal favorite, Offices and Bosses, over at patreon.com slash magic tavern. Bye-bye. So, Baron, you know, I don't mean to pry, but mm-hmm. obviously this is a podcast where I interview people. Right. Your knowledge won't do you any good. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. I kind of took the wind out of my Is that too a heavy? Little bit, a little bit. You're like, winded from starting to ask a question? This is a new <laughs> low. You're sweating Ooh. profusely. I am. Well, I'm sorry. You know, I went all the way up to my room earlier and got dragged back down here. I mean, that's a lot of 
Oh, use it. Chunt. Oh. Seriously, let's think about getting rid of use it art. I don't think last time you I'm tricked awake, me. I can hear everything you're saying. <laughs> Motherfuck! <laughs> you really should it. not mess with this formula. You've got the three signals, three voices going through the void to the world. I, I don't want any changes on that front. All right, fine. I, if that makes it easier for you to study the podcast. Okay, here's what I'll say: No more entrances and exits. Okay, and Usador noises off. All right, fine. No more noises. So, Baron, it seems like you're a little. I don't want to say disappointed, but it seems like there's some real tension in this family. Exasperated. Exasperated. Yeah, I'm sure it's hard to be a parent. It's got to be hard to be a parent. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, so uh, I love uh, Jamie and Sammy very much, Mm -hmm. just like I love all of my children. How many Uh, kids do you have? Oh, uh, 11 at this count. Oh, okay. Uh, But many of those are bastards, right? uh, Yes, all but four. Yes, Uh, Obviously, uh, I, I haven't seen my firstborn in a very long time, so Jamie and Sammy are really where I did most of my daddy, parenting. Daddy, 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 Sammy couldn't go to the bathroom even though you told him he should go before we leave. So what, does he have to go now? I have to go right now. He couldn't go a couple minutes ago. Well, can you go, you can go now, though? Yeah, here's I a chamber pot. Now. Oh, thank you. you. Just go. Yeah, so, I mean, they got... Um, my father wasn't around when I was there. Oh, oh it's true. Pure white. Uh, pure oh. white. Why is he pooping out of his mouth? It's just, you know, he picks up little idiosyncrasies. Uh-huh. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. It's Look, lots it... of the brownies. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm no. sorry. No, don't cry. Don't make fun of me. No, no, I, no don't, one, I don't want to. You'd no like the boys at that you, school. Say me, come here, let me kiss your tears. Oh, we we burnt oh. down the school. It's all right. He doesn't cry from there. Pardon? No. <laughs> Baron, don't look over there. <laughs> Oh, um, yes. All right. I'll, let me just address this directly uh-huh. to you. Sure. So the, the children were not uh, uh, as involved in, uh-huh. in the work of, of being a nobleman, and especially not a nobleman in service of the Dark Lord. So we're, we're kind of playing catch up now. Sure. Uh, we're going around uh, to the towns. We're trying to get them involved, uh, kind of drop some of the stranger uh, interests and hobbies they have picked they up. They do seem to have some strange interests and hobbies. I didn't want to say it. It's weird to say that to, no, to a father a in front of there. They also, act a little also, weird. Also, tomato, vinegar, salt, water, ketchup. I wanted to play ketchup. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> ketchup. <laughs> Knocked it out of the park. That's the first one of your games I understood. <laughs> Uh, but yes, so uh, so now uh, let's see. We're uh, we've been you know on the road eating a lot of uh, horse hearts. Uh, Doing evil is boring. We it's don't so like. boring. We don't want to do evil. I want to be a jester. I, I, yes, I don't a jester. say that. No, no one. You're a noble. And you, we I want jesters to be an work insult for us. Comedy jester. Yes. Ooh, can so we, this is. Can we hear some yes. of the insult oh, comedy jester so one? We oh. are planning. A charitable event for the bastards and orphans of Shrike. Oh, that is wonderful. And it's called Grin and Baron It, and it will be held in the castle courtyard. And Sammy is going to be the headliner for the event. People say I'm very funny without being hurtful. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yes. But you're an insult jester? Yes, but I'm an insult jester. Can, Can you insult jest Arnie, or do you oh, have any oh. any classic uh, Arnie. insult jests? Arnie, Arnie, yes. you, are, you are like if my dead mommy's corns on her feet uh-huh. were a person. Oh. And Chunt, I haven't oh, seen <laughs> that much hair since I walked in on, on my dead mommy getting out of the shower because she doesn't she, did. she doesn't she, she did and she, she didn't did. shave. I gotta be honest, I thought those were pretty funny and my feelings are not hurt. I yeah. feel like mostly it's centered around their dead mom. Yeah, I think that really takes the sting out because at first you're like, oh no, then you're like, you really start thinking about how hard it is probably. It's kind of self-deprecating. The best yeah. comedy comes from real life. Oh, sure. Yes. Usador. Sure. If you do magic so well, why don't you bring back my dead mommy from the dead? Bring her back, please. Ooh. Also, you old. You old. You so old. You so old. How you old so is he? Old. He's so old that he remembers when rocks were born. <laughs> oh, I've seen many rock births. Can, can I give it a shot? Uh, Sammy, your mom is so dead. Oh, that seems oh. not nice. Oh, oh I just, I just oh. thought to point it. Oh. No, no, what did I do? I thought I was just stating oh. the obvious. Oh. 
Oh, no. Um, yeah, so I don't even know. Is that... I, I haven't seen a lot of jesters. They're not really welcome in Shrike as a rule, but obviously I can't do anything if my son becomes one. But is that good? Is that any good? It's not It, it had a lot terrible. of pathos. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't, like, laugh-out-loud mm. funny. Uh, 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 I think pointing out that I'm old is, you know, is a bit on the head. But, uh, you know, also I can't bring your mother back from the dead because that's necromancy and that is an evil act. And you mm. would only be able to do that sort of magic from the Dark Lord or one of his evil minions. <sighs> but, you know, on the plus side, though, like... He has his own point of view, right? Like it's it's not really re- derivative of mm-hmm. other jesters. I'm imagining mm-hmm. he's he's obsessed with the death of his own mother, and that's kind of the the thing he's working on. Yeah, he has a point of view. He's working towards something. I think it's going to get better over time. No one has lived our truth except for us. It's very true. Oh, that just seems like gibberish to me. <laughs> well, you know what? Sometimes fathers don't understand when a son is trying to make something happen with comedy. Maybe, um, Sammy, if you want to, I don't know, maybe coax out of you some sort of like catchphrase or line of like, you know, here's your dead mom or like, you might be a dead mom. Something oh. like that. Or get oh. her dead. Oh. 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 Oh, so no, no, he, I'm so sorry. I'm he just... can make that joke, but you, you can't. can't. You oh. can't say that. Because yeah. when you say it, it's hurtful, but when I say it, it's funny. It's very funny. Oh. You know what? The, the brilliant thing about that is you don't have to worry about joke thieves. You don't have to worry about some other jester stealing your jokes because they'll be like, oh, no, you can't say that. Only Sammy can say that. Now, now no. granted, Chunt can't say that, but he does make a good point. Is there some way you could uh, be more concise, maybe say something like more directly? Uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, sort of wrap it up in a nice little package for your audience. For instance, sometimes when I make jokes at my guard's expense um, in, the, in my cell, at the end of it I'll go, ship shift. Just to remind them I'm a shapeshifter and kind of drive home the punchline. Also, Usador makes a really good point. As he knows, a catchphrase should never be more than 30 to 40 words long. I keep it keep it tight. It should be able to fit on a shirt. How about, okay, let me think. Uh, How about Trike Rises, huh? Shrike That's rises. a good one. No. No. Uh, no. no. All right. Maybe there's something about the bro in bronies. Maybe that's relatable. How about I miss my mom? Yeah, that's pretty good. That really good. boils yeah. it down. Yeah. Burn someone and say, I miss my mom. I miss mm. my mom. It's true, we miss our yeah. mommy. What? What? We wish daddy would get married again so we would oh, have a yes. mommy. Uh. You know, kids, I'm I'm working on it, but there's so much going on. We've taken over Hog's face. Uh, we're, we're taking over uh, Skur next week. Mm. I mean, oh, that's going to be a no. bunch of work. We're going to have to, like, kill the town uh, council. Uh, what about the buzzards? Uh, the, are you going to kill the Mittens team? Oh. They're my favorite Mittens team. Well, we don't want to... I mean, we're evil, but we don't want to interrupt anyone. So. Are you going to become the Baron of Skur? Oh, no, no, no. Oh. This, is a, this is a Dark Lord thing. Gotcha, because I was going to be like, pardon me, are you, you know, Baron of Skur, sir? And that would... I don't... No, I, I remain the Dark Lord's uh, obedience, sir. Good, good, good. Uh, Jamie, do you have any desire to be a performer as well? My aspirations are more religious, I suppose. Oh. Yeah. Like the all-giving mother that gives us life and pancakes of oon. One day, I hope to give birth to lots and lots of lovely children and rule over my portion of, of the barony That's, this with seems super rehearsed. mercy and kindness. With my brother at my side and the mother giving us life and pancakes forever and ever. Have you thought about making that a little more succinct, sort of the same note I gave to Sammy? Uh, like maybe it's like Shrike Rises? No, no. <laughs> Stop pushing Shrike Rises. Maybe something like Mama So Dead. Oh, no, I was thinking something along the lines of, uh, man, that oon is great, and a stack of pancakes. Ooh, that's good. Add it and a um, stack of pancakes to the end of everything. Uh, something to think about. Chew on it. Maybe uh, something about playing breakfast with your hands. Playing <laughs> breakfast with your hands? Okay, yeah. By the way, I think we all lost that game of yeah. hands we played during the break. Yeah, that really... We were putting I don't some, think there uh, are any winners in that uh, game. No. Say me one. I, I won. Twice. Oh, oh, I feel like we... That game. Twice! Daddy's a weak man. No. One time I saw Daddy slip on some marbles and fall down. That happens. Strong people slip on marbles. No, children. <laughs> and he started crying. Ooh, the, you the are a weak dark man. Dark Lord has made me strong. And I you, rule over everything you now see. We put marbles see. everywhere. Look, 
Samey, uh, it's it's a thing that always happens. You know, when you're a child, you think your father's invincible, but you all remember the first time you see your father cry from having <laughs> slipped on a bunch of marbles. And when you were a child, floor. your father was not invincible, but now, through the power of the Dark Lord, I am. <laughs> Stop doing that. That's not even a response. You know you don't have anything to say. Stop Wait, it. Was that Jamie or Yusuf? <laughs> Do it on my face. Do it on my face. <laughs> oh, that's not. As, that, I'm not getting in on that. Anyway, if you guys could buy some tickets to their fundraiser. Um, oh yes, 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 yes. yes, gr- yes called yes. Grin and Baronet. Grin and Baronet. Okay. Now remember, the deal was as many tickets as you buy. That's how many orphans you have to create. That was the trade-off. No. Oh. I don't have any gold or gems in my cell, but I have this plum that's been in my thumb for a couple of weeks. He dug it out of a pie. Does that give me a ticket? If you hide it somewhere on Samey. No, I'll pass. <laughs> well, Baron, uh, I'm not sure if I should say it's been a pleasure. I mean, you kind of can come and barge in on the podcast whenever you want. And yeah. that's not that's not an invitation. I'm just, just a statement of a fact of what I understand of our circumstance. I understand. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you know, Jamie and Samey, it's mm. been very nice to meet you. <gasps> nice oh, to nice meet to meet you, you too. too. Do you want the keys to all the doors? <laughs> yes, I you do. Have the keys to all the doors. Yes, no, that would be yes. amazing. Yes, you, please. You Some have to. That is yours. Treats. You have to give that back. Do you to want me to know the Daddy's end secret trip. tickle spots? <laughs> uh, that less <laughs> quiet. <laughs> it might be useful. I'd rather have yeah. the keys. Yeah. Plans. Our, our, our oh, plans. Yes, please, yes, yes. give me yes, those. I'll tell you what. I think Baron wants the keys to good parenting. Shift, shift. Trike rises. Yeah, this guy knows what I'm talking about. I miss my mom. It doesn't work like you said it would. <laughs> Look, we've all... <laughs> oh, oh, now that you said it, I miss your mom. Oh. I love you, know you Daddy. Now you said it. a corpse we could reanimate. I love you, Daddy. I miss my mom, actually. Hold She's my not... hand. Hold, a... Hold both our hands. <laughs> oh, it's so... mushy plum. It's ah. yes, it does, mushy plum. <laughs> Mine was honey. Oh, you got me. But at least it wasn't his white feces. <laughs> You know, you can email me at Magic Tavern at Puppies at Supplies. It's a real email address. Uh, coincidentally, I have one about the Baron. Hi, Arnie, Chunt, Usador, and whatever guest you have this week. Happens hello. To, yeah, happens to be the Baron. Say hello, children. Hello. hello. <laughs> have you noticed that Baron Ragoon has a really sexy voice? It's like a back rub, a foot rub, and a bucket of Rolos all at the same time. I know he's evil, but damn, son, Madeline... From Iowa. I feel like the last part is really the clue to unlocking this whole email. Madeline from Iowa. It's really true. Daddy Daddy likes to read the list of people he's killed as a bedtime story. Oh, wow. Baron, would you mind reading the list of the people you've killed? Oh, uh, well, um, I mean, today. um, Oh, boy. uh, And they're all very long, complicated, silly names. Yes. The first and last names rhyme of every person he... <laughs> Do you intentionally target people who have long, silly names whose you know, first and last names rhyme? Also, it honestly just kind order. of works out that way. It's the strangest thing. That's the weirdest thing. It's sort of like, I don't think I only date brunettes, but now that I look back on it, I guess I have a thing. Well, uh, Beric von Jerich Eric Derrickson mm-hmm. uh, was a peddler. Sorry, I, I was uh, grabbing some booze. What was the name? Beric von Derrick Eric Jerickson, I believe is what he said as he was dying, was a peddler who failed to tip his hat to myself and my children as we were on our way here. Oh, I'm getting sleepy just listening to this. Mm. Mm. Uh, Then there was uh, Zedicus, Eticus, Metapus, Dereticus. Wow. Mm. Your list always makes me feel like you're about to do a body poem. I think they're mimicking Usador. Their eyes are wide open. Uh, and that's actually all the people I killed today. Oh, well, that's good. Well, <laughs> two. Yeah. One, two. Yeah. It's oh, early. I mean, it's still, it's still afternoon, you know. Um, uh, but I would just like to say uh, thank you, Madeline. I would be happy to put your name on my list any time. New mummy, new mummy, new mummy. Yeah, new mummy, new mummy. Uh, this, is, uh, this person lives in another world that the Dark Lord will soon bring to heal. <sighs> Speaking of which, I have another email. So, thinking of joining up with the Dark Lord. So, how would I go about helping his cause in this world? Should I just put pictures of flaming cats and flaming birds, maybe? You can tell me his name so I can chant it. 
Oh, is this to me? Yeah, I, I assume so. Is, I there, mean, a, I, is there a question? <laughs> So thinking of joining up with the Dark Lord, so how would I go about helping his cause in this world? Should I put pictures of flaming cats and flaming birds? Maybe you can tell me his name so I can chant it. Uh, well, nobody, fatty, nobody fatty, say the name. And boy. don't say the makeup fatty, name either. That's, boy. that's not his name. Fatty. But you know I can't say the real one. Stop it. But you know the real one. I... Yes, I know the real one, but Dad, um. Daddy has it somewhere. We could find it for you. No, get, hands, hands off, hands, hands off. Hands, yeah, hands. Go through his pockets. Take it. Uh, <laughs> um, the, the greatest way to uh, bring the Dark Lord near is to just hold him uh, in your heart. Anytime uh, you start to second guess yourself and think, "Oh, this action, while benefiting me, might hurt others," just cram that down. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and and you're the only important person. Remember that. We're all in this alone. Death will come, and he alone can save you for another frame of existence. Sammy and I are never alone. So, Sammy, what's the noise that you love most? The noise that I love most? Probably the sound of Jamie slurping the skin off my face. What's the the sound you hate the most? Probably the sound of my mother's screams as she melted into the lava and she screamed, Sammy, please help me. Only you can save me. You're closest. All you have to do is reach out and pull me out of this lava. And I, I didn't. I was too scared. And finally, what is your favorite curse word? Probably Bumblepuss. That's the name of our cat. Oh, your cat, Bumblepuss. Well, Cunt Knuckles, that's all the time we have for the show. (laughs) Thank you so much. Shapeshift. Give me some of those marbles. Mm, I miss my mom. Hmm, 17 letters across. The hint is Broken Sauna or podcasts a handful of episodes into their second season. Ah, yes, Running Out of Steam. Use It All the Wizard was played by Matt Young. Food for thought. Is Falling Asleep a character choice or a defense mechanism? Chunt the Badger was played by Adol Rafai. No, played seems like the wrong verb. What's it called when you try to donate a bag of old shirts but the store is moved so you leave the bag in the car? And then you sell the car and move to the suburbs and slowly drift away from acting, that verb. Karen, I mean Baron Ragoon, was played by Chris Rathjen. You can hear Chris and Matt in the improvised Star Trek podcast. Sometimes on public transportation, they'll just drop into character and begin a fanciful sci-fi conversation and sit back and wait for the confused stares. Oh, what a treat for everyone. The Baron's twin children, Jamie and Sammy, were played by special guests Gretchen Ang and Brad Pike. Gretchen and Brad perform with the improv group Devil's Daughter every two Tuesday in the Del Close Theater at I.O. Chicago. Well, according to the chore wheel, it's your turn to do the fine print, Craig. I'm off to ascertain no other rips in space-time have cropped up. Hello from the Magic Tavern was produced by Arnie Niekamp, Evan Jakover, and Ryan DeGiorgi. This one edited by Garrett Schultz. Music by Andy Poland, logo by Allard Laban, additional audio effects by Jason Knox. Production assistance by Garrett Schultz. Visit us at hellofromthemagictavern.com or on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks to the Chicago Podcast Co-op, and thanks to Earwolf. Exciting news, there's a new live episode of Offices and Bosses on HAL right now. All you have to do is go to hal.fm slash magic and use the sign-up code MAGIC to get a free month of HAL and hear the latest episode. It's it's pretty funny, and uh, flowers in it, and it's good. Craig, you know the chore wheel is a painting, right? That's why we've had the same chore assignations for 22 months. So that's why my latest chore was repaint the chore wheel. I should have known. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including all the Magic Tavern spinoffs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern.